Hello everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Cave Story. Last time, we got here in the core, and this time, look, a solder from the surface. He's been nearly destroyed. There are others like this one all over the place. Who did this? We couldn't have been Omega. How could this happen? Still functioning. Roboting. Team 9 terminated. Unable to eliminate the target. Destruction of targets is impossible. We currently keep the firepower. Retreat! Retreat! This is it! Hardest boss fight in the game, in my opinion. The car! This thing! So you can only hit them when Heiz is open. It sucks. Okay, I'll deal with a little bit of damage there. You can push back a little guys. But that sucks, usually. If you can get some of your uh, rockets in there, that's really nice because that will tear away his life. However, this is already empty. Put it back to the blade, which is the one that does more damage. The core is able to do multiple things. First one of those is launching these nukes of 20 damage each! God damn it! You always get it, I don't know why. Come on, come on, sir. Oh! I killed it. You did it? That was incredible. Ugh, how? Hey, there's the same way to zap me. Are those children safe? Shut it. Don't act like you're a mother. You don't even know what this thing is? Huh? This is the reason why I hate Trollocs. This is the heart of the island. The island would fall if this stops. Do you really want to dialogue with the island? You stupid fool. Desiree, what are you doing? Move the core to the lab now, or it's still have time. Anyway, we haven't seen it yet, but the core can rise and the, the level of the water, so it can kill you just because you're underwater too much. You rise and make make the water just rise and fall continuously, and then shoot you the like this this bulb of lightning that did twenty damage there. Anyway, I killed him. You want to go like this, really, really careless, and you want to go all out with your rockets, your blade, and your polar star. Sometimes with uh, the fireball. As soon as the battle ends, we'll go down here. There's something wrapped around the broken robot's heart. Will you take it? Yes, obtain the tow rope. You can get it also before the boss, the boss battle. As soon as you get it, get the car away. I think. No? No? Okay. I'll just wait then near Carlo. There's no way you can you have to die here. Losing consciousness. Did you know the woman named Dutenka had a younger brother? His name was Belos. Like his older sister, he had magical powers unlike anyone could imagine. You can breath. You see now I'm um, I've taken the tank of Carly. Carly is now unconscious. No reply. She's not moving, but appears to be still be alive. We use the tower. And if you don't have it, you cannot bring her around. She will die here. That's it. Okay, the music starts again. Back in, you back in truck. And we only have five health points. Not good at all. Hell yeah, I'm going to save. So try to go back, I think you can't. You won't open. But now we can go through here, in the waterway. Here comes one of my favorite parts of the game. So, at first, there are a little bit of enemies in here, so... Good to get some experience back. Polar Star. Example. Now you can breath underwater, so that's really nice. And now you can breath underwater. You don't have to worry about any more timer that could have been when you are in water, whatever that thing. So, ah, I didn't want to do that. Oh, my father's star. Father's star. 
So I just want to kill the enemies, get some experience, get some hearts, get back my life. Thanks. It would be amazing. Alright, there we go. Okay, I don't really want to get in freaking spikes there. <clears throat> this stage is at the platform, so I'm gonna drop down here. Is there something I can get? No. Okay, but it's not hard. It's not hard, believe me. Alright, there we go. Some more hearts for me. Damn, I need to recover. One more. I remember when you're underwater, you cannot jump really high. Okay, here's where the bob line comes in. in, in, in. Oh! The current, you know, follow the current, jump when you need it. And when it comes to this point, you have to hit the bob line. I don't know where you want to go, or oh, maybe I missed it. Yeah, I didn't want to go to this point. Okay, you hit the bob line. These guys, they're all. It's been a while since uh, we haven't seen one of those, but you want to take care of most of them. That guy over there. Can we kill him? No, it's okay. And you want to go up here. And if you can, jump over to this door. That's essential. If you want to run the best ending. The waterway cabin. So I'm going to save here right after that. Okay. Nothing of interest. The notebook is covered in dust. I got to over the vent. You want to rest this. Okay, now Carla is sleeping there. Although she's not moving, she seems to be still alive. Text displayed on screen. That reminds me, I also recorded some findings on that notebook. This notebook? The notebook is covered in dust. That was a notebook, yes. Robots manufactured on the surface have limited aquatic mobility. Like I have. In the case of flooding, the system will automatically initiate a shutdown to prevent from short circuiting. Below are instructions on how to service fill the robots. Learn how to service fill the robots. Now we can go. So the system will begin a reboot process automatically after using the above method of training. So go here. Drain the water from Carly. Hell yeah. You're safe! Oh, I'm glad. I thought you were a gunner. You lost consciousness and I couldn't think of anything to do about it. So I give you my air tank. It worked, didn't it? Ah. Uh. She fell asleep. The start process would take some time to complete. We just go outside. There's this guy though. You can farm this. You can farm here for experience. Just go in and out to kill the, the, the bat. Do the thing. Would you like to leave her here? Hell no! Pick her up. So what I'm gonna do here is... Well, it's gonna be a while because I'm gonna farm experience for the blade. Just for the blade, I don't need anything else. The blade is essential for what's going to come. Since I want 100% from this game, I want the blade to level 3. Because on level 2, it is possible to do what I want to do, even on level 2 and level 1. But on level 3, it's just a lot more easier. So I'm just trying to get, you, get some experience from this guy. The bad thing is, he can drop more than 3 experience at once. But it's gonna be a while. It all depends on luck. Let me just hit the save. There we go. We'll be here for some minutes. <clears throat> Come on. Why always hearts? Man, you should make that enemies front drop hearts if you're a full life, but they will 100% drop experience or ammo. Or they won't drop ammo if you're a level 4. 
I have got three spins for me. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting some spins finally. One more experience. Okay, we're getting closer. <clears throat> I need my level 3 blade. I don't care how much time I stay here trying to get it, but I need the level 3 blade. Well, I'm dead. I think there will be yeah five more experience and I will be fine. Yeah, okay, we're pretty close. No, that's not it. Let's save before they fall down into the water and I get to do all the things again. Come on, one more. Nope. Nope. We got it, finally. Now, this is gonna be a boss fight. And I need the blade level 3. So, let's go down here. I'll probably have to start the boss many times I hope I won't. Because the boss fight that I need to do... Well, you see, I have to do it in a very specific way. So you can break that if you want. Well, be careful now when you jump. Whoop, jump high, jump high here, high here, stay high, jump, and I'll jump here, jump high here, here we go. Something is coming. The main archery. Now, wanna open up the map here. Did you see this thing? Not damage. This is what you wanna do, this boss fight. You want you don't want to take damage. Uh the fish over there. They will go from this the left side of the screen to the right side. When they do that and they are <clears throat> brown like that, they won't hurt you. They will then turn into puffers and then they will do damage to you. Also, that's the boss. This thing. Ah, oh, come on! I already took damage! What? I want to take damage there. Well, I still can tr try again. The boss fight is all like that. There's a lot of stuff going on on the screen. The thing is, you, want, you really want the level 3 blade. Is that with a level three blade, you can easily take care of lots of the puffers. God damn it! Just go up. What's the problem? All right. I don't care, since I don't have to take damage here. So if you do this, lots of them will die. And where are the, the blocks? Uh, you can deal a lot of damage to the boss. And that's your hope. I mean, you want to deal as much damage as the boss comes. And as the boss comes this way, you want to deal as much damage as possible. So that it ends quickly. So you only left two poppers alive here. The fact that they don't part when they're brown really helps you because you can get close to them enough like that and then spawn it, the blade and that's it. Okay, come on. If, I, if you do it, you will know because some... God! Ah, some... Oh, I gotta concentrate here. I need to focus in this battle. It's hard. It's hard! Damn it! I shot the blade before it hit me! What? What? There we go. Some damage. Yep.
Come on, so close now. The stone should be the last one. Got it! Aha! No damage, bitch! Whew. That's it! If you open up the inventory, now you have this thing. The Hallian Medal! <sighs> I'm going to the midst of a space hell and does no use. Ica. I don't know why you say that. But I got it! We're now back into the Mega Village, but Carlos doesn't seem to be with us. But anyway, if we go in here... Oh, it's just you. The doctors and masked the red flowers. All the Mega of the island are now fallen into this grip. Tragedy is inevitable. And I know these events will transpire then. You should have at least had two escape from the island. Obtain the booster 2.0. Please honor my final request. If you see Shu one last time, please take her and escape from the island. She's Dr. Sakamoto's daughter. For the longest time, she resisted coming to this island, but she couldn't be left behind all alone. She had no choice but to follow us to the island. Please, take her and escape. We should escape from this island, please. He gave us the booster! Which is this thing. Press the jump button while airborne and boost in one of four directions. You wanna keep it? Yes, the keep buster. With this thing, you can kind of fly around. Now wait, I want to say... Okay, there we go. This is how it works. If you jump, you press up, and you press the jump, and what's happening? You can smash the buttons to do that. It's also kind of propels you higher. You can do this, 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 in whatever direction you're pressing. Obviously, down direction doesn't really serve anything. Or it actually is useful. Well, you will see. But now, with the booster, we can now go to a place we haven't been yet. Up here, if I can, because... Maybe if you had something here... There we go. We are in the first cave. Do you remember the first cave? Uh, it does change it a little bit, actually. And so now there are more enemies, I guess. Not really. It's been a while since we since we have we really wandering in this cave. But you remember we stole this gun from this guy. He's now awake. Did you happen to see the gun I made? Someone pilfered it while I slept. I should have just slept with the thing in my chest pocket. I had I known that it was going to be the case. What? Wait! That's my gun! Why do you have it? Didn't make it for you. Give it back. Hmm. You're able to put a significant amount of wear on it. I I was raised to believe that weapons should always be constructed by oneself. And I always thought this fight with a firearm created by another person are all fools. Going on overconfident with powers that were never their own to begin with. They blaming their own shortcomings on the equipment they use. Fools. Still. But now, seeing my gun used by you, with your hands, I'm so very incredibly touched. There is an incomplete gun, such as the Polar Star to this degree. Hmm. Pardon my rantings. How about this? I'll give it to you. After it's completed, of course. The Polar Star is now the Spur. There remains a very delicate balance in this world between those who create and those who experience the creation of others. Can't say that I wasn't aware of this. However, I've never experienced it. Now, thanks to you, I finally have. As long as there is someone who will appreciate the work involved in creation, the efforts is time well spent. This end, I will continue to create for as long as I can. Spur, all the fire button to increase the potency of this modified power style. This thing! This weapon is the first example of weapon that doesn't level up. It will stay on level up for a level 1 forever. It shoots like a... Um... Polar Star, as you can see, it deals full damage, but as you can see, the, the level bar is flashy while I shoot. That's because if I hold it up, boom! If it charges on level 2, that's what happens. It shoots a beam. If it charges on level 3, boom! I mean, this is actually level 1, level 2, 
and the level 3, it reaches maximum, BAM! And they do incredible damage. You want to you see? Let's try those. Uh, let's try this on some enemies over here. Not on me. I want to try that on, on the bats. Level max. Bam! It's amazingly powerful and it's your best weapon. It seems it doesn't need experience. It's incredible. Well, just because of that. I mean, it doesn't need experience. But I need experience for all the weapons, so if you don't mind. Okay, that's the maximum. But this isn't a maximum. So if you really don't mind, I'm getting some experience here anyway. For all the weapons. Where did you come from, though? As you can see, the cave now has a lot more enemies. Bloodline. It's your turn, Bloodline. Everything in max? Let's just use the spur. Okay, look at this, for example. Boom! I mean the spore! This is the weapon! And with and by getting the spur I can say that's it and I will see you guys next time.